Jeremiah Taylor. Some white man. Oh, yeah, and uh, black Americans are white, in my view. Um, been here for 400 years. They have all white American culture, and they've made their own culture out of white American culture. So, uh, white boy, either with white skin or with black skin, doesn't matter, still not Hispanic, not Latino. I'm, I'm Latino, Irish, and Arab. Comments on, did Columbus discover America? It's like I take your drink and say, look, I, look what I discovered. How can he discover America when there was already... <clears throat> Ten thousand million Native Americans here! Exclamation point. Ten thousand million. Ten thousand million. Well, no, there weren't that many here, but there were very complex and in, uh, ingenious cultures here. Uh, <coughs> Can anyone discover a planet? Can you discover a planet? Can, some, can we discover a planet that contains life? Can anyone discover a new species or a species, let's say? Can anyone discover a um, previous unknown animal? Could anyone discover the ruins of a lost city? You didn't discover it. It's been there for a while. Well, nobody knew it was there. The Vikings uh, settled little parts of, of America and then left. They had permanent settlements for probably approximately a few decades and then left. And there were some, you know, old folks up in Norway who, you know, knew tales of it and said, oh, it you know, there's something out there, there's land out there. The Obviously, the people of Siberia, the Russians, knew about it. They knew that there was land right there. They were, but did anybody, <coughs> did anybody from the old world, Africa, Asia, and Europe, it, it, it wasn't known of. It, was, it wasn't known of, besides some some fishermen up in uh, Norway about legends from their past or some ancient Vikings or uh, fishermen in Siberia. No one from the old world knew. So yes, it was discovered. Western civilization or civilization in general, whether Western or Eastern, um, discovered America, a prehistoric people. They were in the, the peoples of the Americas were in the Stone Age. And no, I'm not denigrating my ancestors by saying that. They built uh, amazing cities out of stone in the jungle. Sub-Saharan Africa never did that. I mean, it wasn't until after the Arabs that uh, there's anything like that. Um, I believe it was Tasmania. The people of Tasmania, the indigenous people there, had not yet discovered fire. <coughs> the Mayan and the Teotihuacane and the Aztec um, built those pyramids and planned those cities without the invention of the wheel. That is a phenomenal feat. They actually had the concept of zero before anyone else. But who gave us zero? Um, al Khwarizmi. Our mathematics worked off of and it was, uh, we were farther ahead of them in mathematics, the Native American people. And the Native Americans, 
It wasn't a single homogenous group. That's the one thing that irritates me. They were, they were just as distinct in cultures as uh, the range of cultures from Spain and Ireland to China and Japan, and from as north as uh, from as north as uh, Sweden to south as uh, India. It's a very expansive, um, very multicultural, and I don't mean multicultural as they all mix, they were con continually almost at war with each other, just like human beings are. They had all the vices and virtues of that we have, that modern day people have. Now I thank God that it was Columbus ran into there. Um, for one, it stopped the Aztecs abusing the Mayan. And two great warrior civilizations clashed together. The Spanish, or let's just say Latinos, to Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, those are racially, those are Latinos, um, with the indigenous people there, making Latin Americans. And it's a blend. And it's a blend of cultures also. And that's <coughs> where... Um, the start of the identity of being Latin American comes from, from these two great warrior cultures. Uh, now, in my experience, it's always been the white man, the white Anglo, who, uh, who has any type of guilt or wringing of hands to this. And <coughs> Americans in general, since it's a wasp-run society and most people are brainwashed to be wasps, uh, have a lot of hand wringing and have white guilt. It's strange how much the black community in America, not to keep bringing up the blacks, have an immensely amount of white guilt in them. It's it's just it's 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 it's, it's, it's creepy. It's it's unnatural. It's it's they, they they shouldn't have that. It's it's actually very depressing. But um, Mexicans and Dominicans and uh, Cubans and Puerto Ricans have no problem that they exist. Now there are plenty of white supremacists that w that wish that uh, you know they were back in Europe, you know, with no none of these blended people of Latino and uh, Mesoamerican race descended from, you know, Latin blood and um, pre-Columbian blood. So I, I find something very racist in, in these, in this reaction to Columbus didn't discover America. He was the first Latin American. Latinos aren't ashamed of it. Why do white people have to be ashamed of our ancestry? I'm Irish, Arab, and Latino. And when you start stepping on my ground, which is my ancestors and my cultures, uh, I'm going to hit back. And that's what this video is about. It's uh, <coughs> enough is enough. You have your white guilt. Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't feel guilty about uh, Mexican culture. I love it. I don't feel guilty about uh, Argentinian and Colombian. My ethnic ancestry. I don't feel uh, ashamed that I speak Spanish. Two great warrior cultures came together, and they're the strongest for it because mixed people are the strongest. Now, racial purists uh, will always hate Latinos, or at least Latin Americans. The Latins of Italy and Spain and Portugal, uh, 
Well, even they're not racially pure because there was the, G the Germans came down. It's been Germanic people, the Franks, which are the French, the Anglo-Saxon, which is the English. Um, these are the people that started all the wars. And now, now their ancestors feel guilty about it, or their descendants feel guilty about it. Uh, <clears throat> I would like this person, this Jeremiah Taylor, to walk up to ev any any Mexican or any Latin American that he sees, anyone of Latin American ancestry, and say, wow, aren't you so ashamed that you exist? Don't you realize that your culture is shit? The last 400 years of your history is just total shit? And fuck you for existing. I mean, that's that's basically it. Because yes, we can discover planets. Discover is a term that we use. What other word are we going to use? You found it. I mean, it, who discovered the Americas? Christopher Columbus. And uh, we don't hold anything against him. None of the none of my family members living in Colombia or Argentina. Uh, feel ashamed of it. They're proud of it. It's one of his heroes. They're one of it's like the hero down there. But since the white, the wasp, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, didn't get to the Americas first, which look what they did with the land that they had. They wiped out all the indigenous people, pretty much, uh, instead of intermarrying them and sharing their culture with them. You know, disease ran rampant, but they couldn't control that. They didn't know about germ theory back then. So to me, there's something very hate-filled in these responses from people, challenging the discovery of America. Too bad it happened. Um, maybe you hate the fact that there are, there are um, mestizos around. Uh, that's your own bigotry. That's your problem, not mine and not ours, not my ancestors. My people were from Patagonia. That's the, indi that's the indigenous blood that com I, comes from, and some Inca, though. But of Patagonia, they didn't have huge monuments. I feel ashamed of that, that they didn't have the monuments like the, my other Incan ancestors have or had built. No. I mean, this this whole new version of white man's burden or white man's guilt that Europeans and Americans have. Nobody south of the Rio Grande <laughs> uh, holds these views, and unfortunately they're starting to because white Americans, whether they're black in color or white in color or what have you is still thoroughly anglicized um, bring this idea down to them and try to make them ashamed for existing no it's a beautiful thing that they 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 have two lines of ancestry of two great warrior cultures one that had the biggest empire in the earth and the other had the biggest empire of the americas yeah, they were ripping people's hearts out, to, you know, and, and, you know, brutalizing the the Maya, forest Maya, but, hey, that's it. That's that's life. Should they feel bad about that? No. Not at all. So, I see your, your friggin' race hate. In, in your in your bullshit analogy because we can't ever discover any species or a new formula in math or mathematics or a new theory of physics or anything nothing can be discovered now not planets not any animals not any land formation because it was already there discovery is not invention it means it was already there It, this is just boils down to white hate. 
and there's unfortunately there's a lot of black Americans that have white hate in them and they can't even see it and it's sad it's an infection in America and, and this is what's very sad about it